Welcome back to 30 Days of Sketches Series 14. We are on to day six. We're on to day six, day seven. And today's sketch is by Tracy England. I love this sketch. It is giving you the breakdown of how many pattern papers and how many embellishments you need and you just have to place them down. I think this is genius. <laughs> And um, I am going to be digging into the last little bits of my Bro & Co by Simple Stories. So I've got a few embellishments and just a little tiny bit of paper. Not much. And I thought it would be fun to use it up. I think I can get a layout done with it today and then maybe one more and I can scrap this collection, which will be really exciting. So I'm going to get you on fast forward and let's see what I can come up with. First thing I had to decide was what, what I had. So I'm gonna go through everything, look at the papers, organize, put anything that's embellishment wise over onto the, the other side. And I was so, so excited because I had one sheet that reached all the way across. It was 12 inches and it was going to be that main back nut paper number, I guess it's number three, maybe you know it's number one, but the thicker piece of paper that's gonna go in my background. I had a quick look at it to make sure there was nothing within the, um, the, those are three by four cards that I wanted to use. And thankfully I was like, eh, no, it's fine. I can uh, work with it in the other way. And I really wanted to be able to have a full sheet. And so I'm gonna commit to that and cut that apart. And then for the other layers, I just used the scraps that were available. And I'm really, really pleased with how this all kind of just came together and I just happened to find a piece that was you know a little bit smaller than the gray check and then I found a blue that I was like that looks really neat on top of this and the photos that I have are the they've got two different filters it's the same photo with two different filters on it and I felt like it played really well off of these particular pattern papers and I'm documenting my youngest and it's got a masculine feel to it and it just it fit and I just I was so excited and like I said everything just kind of fell into place and I'm gonna look at this and I even added in the little bit of this um kind of cream paper with all these different words on it and my youngest tries so hard to be quote unquote like his brother and cool and say words that he he doesn't even know what they mean and it's just adorable and so I felt like this even fit within that type of vibe and he has his own style which is what I'm talking about in my journaling and so this I just I can't explain to you how as I was creating this I was just smiling and having a great time and listening to music and just putting it together and sometimes layouts do not come together very fast for me they can take me up to four to five days to get done because I have to do something and then walk away and think about it and come back and I had this one the base of it done within probably 20 minutes the hardest part was gluing it all together and making sure that I had it filmed <laughs> the rest of it was it probably took me longer to write the journaling than it did to put this layout together and that just some days that's all you need and that's what you you want from it I am battling, uh, my kids got sick and I am battling their, whatever they caught. Unfortunately, I caught it as well. And so I didn't have a ton of energy and this really helped me get a layout done even when I wasn't feeling the best, which is neat. I love how I found this little pop of yellow and I'm going to kind of off kilter it on both sides. I like the edges it brings. I'm not adding a bunch of embellishments like you can see the sketch root calling for. And so I felt like this was a great play on that. And then the other thing I'm going to do is add a little bit at the top of the circle, the gray circle paper, just to bring that down so you can see it. A lot of it's covered up by the blue um, plaid that I'm using. And so I felt that was a great idea. I'm using a pre-made title from the collection that says Cool Dude. And you guys, I'm going to call it good. This is all I'm doing. And <laughs> Honestly, this is it. I love it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to come back live so we can talk about um, the story behind the photos and what I'm going to do with the rest, um, what's left and what I'm going to use with that. All right, layout is done. I love it. It is a little bit more on the simplistic side. However, I got a lot of different patterns used up, which makes me so happy and of course these cute little photos so this is Barrett just we we're waiting to pick up my other two and I got this shirt for him that says 
I'll have the chicken nuggets and I just love it. So there is literally a guy, like a little chicken nugget guy, um, holding a menu and it's just, it's hilarious. So I love the shirt and he has this plaid jacket that he has lived in and then he had a two gone and just, it's just his style. And I just, I don't know. I loved it so much. And so went ahead and got that documented That's the story behind the photos. And again, just kind of worked with what I had. I definitely played with the idea of having the layers of the pattern paper. I added an extra layer in on mine. That's good. Got a little card used up as well. And one of the pre-made titles and then two stickers and a piece of ephemera. So like I said, not a bunch of actual stuff necessarily on the layout, but a bunch of pattern paper, which means in this collection, I have just a bit left, just absolute scraps and some stickers. Mostly I have like the uh, little bits of ephemera still left over that I haven't been able to use for anything else. So I think my goal will to be, I think I said this earlier, but to get one more layout used up with this and then we're going to call this collection good and uh, get it out of my stash in my collection, which is awesome. All right. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me and following along with the sketch today. I will see you guys all again soon. Bye everyone.